Hi guys, something different today. I've been running through a snagging list around the house and I'm here in the workshop where I need to replace a piece of quadrant that runs round above the laminate floor and against the brick wall. I've cleaned off the adhesive from where the old one was and I've got a length of quadrant here and it's just going to butt up to the conduit there for the electrical supply. Now I just need to tackle the external mitre on this corner. I've marked the length with pencil and shown which way the mitre needs to go. Now I'll just go over to my chop saw and cut that. And whilst I'm here, I'll show you a little trick I use to make sure the mitre meets nicely. I'm cutting the mitre for the return on that corner and I want to cut it with this saw in the same position but the piece I'm going to use comes from the opposite side. So here's the piece that I've just cut off. I put in a little fence, hold it in place now I can lift out the quadrant, flip it over, drop it back down, slide it across, line it up with the saw, hold that in place and cut. Doing it that way ensures I get a perfect 90 degrees. Back at the wall and as you can see nothing's easy. I'm going to have to scribe for the end cut on here because of the curves on this other piece of moulding. But I can get my initial length from the point of the mitre back to this moulding by putting it on in the opposite direction and marking. So I just start my profile from here. I just use a pair of compasses to measure the maximum displacement I've got on the end there and add that to the measurement I just took. I can make my first cut off here. Now I can set a pair of compasses to the distance the mitre overshoots and scribe the other end. I'm going to knife round the line to try and prevent too much tear out when I saw. And I've found a piece of cove moulding which is pretty much the same radius so I'll be able to stick that in the front vise and clamp it across the two flat sides. It's important to remember that the moulding that created this curve is running in this direction and the moulding that created this curve runs in that direction and we need to angle our saw cut to match those. You'll notice how I've aligned the blade now with this side of the quadrant. Now 
I can just smooth the, uh, the edge of that curve with a half round file. The more observant of you will notice that that isn't the part I was scribing earlier. Unfortunately I forgot to video myself cutting that so I've just cut another sample. Now let's just see how it fits. And I'm happy with that. I'm working on a flat surface. Just hold those together for a little while. And I've just applied a piece of fibrous paper here, which the super glue will sink into. Uh, it's almost like putting a bit of fiberglass matting on the back, but it's, it's very thin. Now with the glue dried, the reinforcement on the back, we can try it in place. And that looks great. Cheerio!